Storm Snapback Jack and welcome back. I'm pretty sure this will be the last until we do the um, epilogue. I'm going to do a very long episode of this one. So I just want to get it done and over with. I'm pretty sure this will be the end anyway. Oh man, Alpha's going to die. Oh man, technically the end of this one is the beginning of the first game. So I looked on it. I looked at it and yes it is. Because this is a prequel, so technically. Oh god, Arthur's dying. He's gonna die, and Marco's gonna kill him or some shit, and then John will kill fucking Bill and have hair and Dutch and stuff. No, that's the first one. <laughs> I'm getting it so confused. I, I know what happens though now, I've looked online. Quite a sad ending, to be honest. It's a very sad game in general. Like, it's it's really good. Like, I can understand why it's so long. It's the longest in the series. The first one is is about twenty eight hours, and this one's about forty to sixty hours. Uh, ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. You ain't, you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe no we can freedom for no one in this country no more. Arthur, one more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning, we take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. There's always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam, and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but... You know, the women and the children. And John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. Let's ride yeah, Dutch is turning a little bit insane. Let's go. He's turning a yeah. bit of a bit, a bit of a dick, to be honest. It's because he's got mica in his ear. I think so. Okay. 
Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Yeah, now anyway, I like it how. Here we go. I like what? it. I like it how Arthur and John physically hate each other right at the beginning. And Hosea said um, that he didn't really like John at all. And now they're like really close friends all of a sudden. And um, I think it's because if you have high honor. Off we go indeed. One last time, gentlemen. I got us a river boat. We'll head up to New York or Chicago and get a real boat from there out to the tropics. So long as it isn't Burma. Oh, it'll be paradise, son. It's all coming together, Dutch. Just like we planned. That okay with you, John? Arthur? Or do you insist on something different? Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in a little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, San Denis. It's good to be back. Happy. All right. Cleek, save it. You board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are going to board at the back. Rest it. Follow Mike and on and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well, everybody mount up. We're still going through with this? Of course we are.
Let's get to the next camp! Oh, I shot his head off. Shot his hat off. Who knows if this is their goddamn plan all along? Let's keep moving! Break it! This is where you die! Die! Just like the old days, huh? This don't feel nothing like the old days. Oh, we're gonna do some sort of madness now. Unlock the train. And we're gonna use this. Whoa! Oh, drone's been shot. Fuck. Stop your job. You protect that bullet. Man the gun, Arthur. I'll go stop the train. Stop the train. Whatever you do, do not stop the train. You secure up ahead to keep us moving. I'll deal with that patrol when they come through. God, I shot his head clean off. Jesus How Christ. Like you, lady. Watch your goddamn Look out on the left. Look out on the right. On the left. Will you shoot him for Christ's sakes? What the hell you think I'm doing? Listen! I don't take orders from you! Okay, get off the gun! We need to go for the money! Come on! The money should be in the front carriage! What about John? He's just gone. Okay, come wait. Let's blow up on him. Let's go! The money's in their carriage! Alright, So better blow this thing. Ha! Here we go! Whoa! I didn't do it. It's a bag of cash. Morgan, the driver's dead. It's they ain't stopping. We got to get off. Okay, then. Let's go. Damn. Well, that goes the train. Jesus Christ. Troll killed him. We had to run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. Uh, John's not dead. He's not dead. Can't be dead. Because obviously the 
think it won't make any sense. It's called Redemption now. Is that actually because it's the last part of the game? Yeah. So we do the um. Look. They came and took Abigail. A safe check. We hid, but they took Abigail. Who did? Agent Milton and his men took her to Van Horn to be put on a boat and tried for murder. I am sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, uh, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, or... But he's right. Hutch! Come on, boys. Well, I guess that's that, then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. You take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Land for Abigail and Mrs. Ed. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. Care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich? All his goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Or he went crazy. Yes. Sure. I guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. In a... us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. Thought I could find a way to get John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. Give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, Maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Jose, Mac, Davey, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. Get it. I was like Bioshock Infinite. Or Bioshock in general. Thank you. 
Where from? Oh, here. Uh, oh, here. Is that? Oh, here. Can't really see very well. Well, she's gonna die. I'm not careful. I don't know where. There we go. Jesus Christ, that took okay, ages. Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. Yeah, I finally did it. That took ages, by the way. downtown. <laughs> Fucking a <laughs> legend. <laughs> I like how I just literally kicked him to death. <laughs> we offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah. You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea. Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell, we picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay, so Micah Bell is the rat then. I knew he was going to be the rat anyway. Let's be honest. <laughs> Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. Dog, Mr. Who shot him? Oh, Abigail shot him. Oh. Horrible man. <laughs> no, 
come on, both of you. How can I only use one pistol? More coming in ahead on the left! You call yourself man, you pathetic sons of bitches! Jesus Christ. We got more on the right, Arthur! Get that asshole! It's nowhere for you to run to! Shoot him again! You alright? Jesus Christ. Look at his face menacing. Go left, John. Where's John? I, I don't know. <clears throat> Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Oh wow, the tears are actually pretty good. Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in the caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. Abigail Roberts. I always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. <sighs> <laughs> Oh man. Fuck me. The many miles we walk. The 
many things we learn. The building of a shrine. You know, I'm actually kind of sad. I'm not joking. No, I'm like, I'm actually kind of like a little bit teary. I'm not joking. That's uh, <clears> that's <throat> I understand why this got game over here. I can understand it. That's the way it is. You saved my life. You're a good man. Oh, that was like, like right at the beginning. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. Soundtrack is absolutely fantastic. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry, we just got plenty of time, Micah. We all need to have a little chat. Black Lung, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, Kyle Pope? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John! Left me! Left me to die! My boy. I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't. It's you! I didn't have a choice. Left me! All of you. You pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch. For this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. Oh, well, she's dead. Shit. Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Bell. I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! Stop them! Move! You ready, 
John? Yeah. Everyone get down! This is easy. Oh god. Oh this is where the money is. Let's not do that. Down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Ah, uh, maybe you're right, but uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. No, no. I'm coming with you. Yeah. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit. <coughs> the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Ah, uh, oh, shit. Let's go. We need to find higher ground. Oh, Don't gosh. worry about them. They'll just be going back for the money. We need to get the hell out of here. <coughs> no, I think I've pushed all I can. Come on, you go. We ain't got time for this, not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them up. Oh, you give him a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. God damn you, man! 
That's all I've got. Fantastic. Fucking hell. Oh, so now I've got to fight Micah now. Jesus Christ. I know you're going to die, but kill Marker, please. You goddamn traitor! God. All there is winning and losing. Get the gun. that gun you ain't you lost my sick friend you lost Man. despite my best efforts to the country it turns out I won Oh. God damn you. Ah. What? You oh, it's, it's dark. Of course it is. What is it? It's, it's over. Oh, God. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. I gave you all I had. I did. 
Come on. Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. Come on. Sean made it. He's the only one. The rest of us. I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on! He just dies. Some years later, flies jump. Yeah. That was close. Too close. Yeah. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me? The one me who went and shot him. Seems like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in, in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I'm always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? I'm sorry, sir. Oh, now we're playing. Technically, now we're playing. A dead one now, technically. Ugh. Okay, 
Well, I'm going to leave this one here. And I will see you in the epilogue. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Take care and peace.